Hey guys, I want to show y'all a little something I got going on in the garden this year. These little things right here are called hot cherry bombs. And when they say hot, I mean these little suckers are hot. And I'm going to give you a little bit of advice. You should never, ever field test peppers in the garden. Now, I tried some of these things about a month ago to see how hot they were. And I bit into it just a little bit on the end and a little bit more. And I came to the conclusion it really wasn't hot. I said, uh, this must be the sweet ones because I did have sweet and hot seeds. And I figured uh, they got mixed up. And uh, what happened was I came back about uh, a week or so later with my buddy. And we're walking through the garden here. And I said, yeah, these little things right here are supposed to be uh, hot. They're not. They're sweet. So I picked one off. And I bit a little bit on the end of it just to check it. And uh, sure enough, it was sweet. I bit another bite up in there right good. And I said, hmm, you know, this one's kind of got a mix there. Kind of sweet, mild, got a little bit of heat to it. Not too bad. I said, this is a good pepper. And uh, I made a terrible mistake right after that because I took a big bite up in there, up into that seed cavity. And I'm going to tell you what, it took my breath. It gave me the hiccups all at the same time and darn near killed me. I went running to my building over there where the refrigerator's at and uh, grabbed the Diet Coke real quick. Thinking that could put the heat out and uh, that didn't do it. So I met my buddy around the back side. Uh, to get my keys so I could get back in the house and he said you don't look good I said Ralph I don't feel good man I said I think I'm gonna die he said you better go get you a glass of milk so uh, I got in the house real quick grabbed me a big glass of milk and I think about two swallows later I put that down went back outside sit on the porch and he said uh, he said man you don't look good I said I don't feel good either I said I think this is gonna be the one that takes me away from here he said no nah, man just sit down you be all right but I'm gonna tell you what these little things right here, as innocent as they look, look like little uh, little cherries right there. They will get you. They got me, and uh, never, ever go out to the garden and start sampling peppers unless you got you a, a milk cow or a gallon of milk or something like that close by, because it's a bad idea. Right here are the orange habaneros. You look up in there, look at them things in there, shining just like uh, little miniature pumpkins. Now... After my experience with that hot cherry bomb, I ain't got the, um, uh, how should I say it, testicular fortitude to go and start eating one of these bad boys right here. So I'm going to see if I can't find somebody that would really like to have some. If not, I'm going to put them in the blender and I'm going to go kill some bugs. I've got four of them in this garden right here. And there's a whole lot of heat up under there. It would take several fire departments to put out all that heat. Uh, my, matter of fact, I might could heat the greenhouse this winter with these things. I don't know what the Scoville is on them, but uh, that little heat gauge thing, whatever, this, uh, whatever it goes like, but uh, there's a whole lot of heat in there. Right here's some of my red habaneros down in garden number one where I had so much trouble with the blight. So you can see these leaves right here. See all the spots on them. Been having a hard time. I am uh, keeping them sprayed, trying to keep up with it. Try to do a better job keeping that stuff from going crazy. But again, I got all these habaneros and don't know what in the world to do with them. Maybe if I mix it up into some type of mace or something like that, make a personal protectant, that might be a good idea. Spray some of this in somebody's face, they'll get away from you. Right here I got some jalapenos in this row. I uh, probably got half a dozen plants, give or take. Got plenty of peppers up under there. You notice the white stuff on the leaves. That's the dacanil I was spraying. Again, more hot peppers. You get them looking like that. That's a nice size pepper there. Real nice. Got a few turning red up on the bottom. On down on the end there. Some of these over here. Gonna get these things picked and uh, do something with them. After we got everything picked, this is what we ended up with. Two nice little tubs right here of orange habaneros, the red hot cherry bombs, red habaneros, and we picked a few jalapenos while we were down there. Had some turning red and got some of the larger green ones. These things, way more heat than uh, I know what to do with as far as trying to eat them like this. 
if I ate the hot cherry bombs and had a hard time with them at 2500 there ain't no way in the world I'm gonna eat one of these habaneros that's gonna be 10 to 20 times as hot as that was I ain't, I ain't crazy I just ain't gonna do it I did sample one just a tad bit just to taste it but that's as far as I got so we're going to dehydrate these things uh, save the grind them up make some powder that I can make bug spray with that kind of deal maybe mix in some other ingredients and make some seasoning mixes and stuff like that but I have absolutely no intentions pickled unpickled uh, frozen whatever of biting into one of these things whole and trying to kill myself I just ain't gonna do it y'all take care